And showtime. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Channel Pro 5 Minute Roundup. News, trends, and tips for the SMB channel in five minutes or thereabouts. My name is Rich Freeman. I am executive editor of the Channel Pro Network, also a co-host of this program. I am joined physically side by side this week by your other co-host, Eric Simpson, business transformation and improvement advisor to MSPs and other IT providers. And Eric, tell the good folks where we are. We are in Chicago today, Rich. And Rich, what in the heck are we doing in Chicago today? Well, uh, you know, I, I like to tell people we're here for St. Patrick's Day, and that's why the, uh, the river you can't see behind us is colored green. But actually, um, we are in Chicago attending the uh, CompTIA Communities and Councils Forum, the CCC, uh, uh, at CCF event uh, here in Chicago this week, and it's great. Yep, weather's uh, mild. There's a little snow on the ground. But yes, unfortunately, we tried to capture the, you know, the traditional uh, tinting of the river green as they always do here in Chicago for St. Patrick's Day, but unfortunately, it's just a little bit too washed out behind us. So sorry about that, folks. You'll just have to trust us. But let's dive into our story of the week here. It's actually uh, the story of the month, uh, in a manner of speaking, because recently Channel Pro published its latest State of the Channel report. This is something Channel Pro does every year. Um, it's really, if, if I do say so myself, as a, an extended part of the Channel Pro team, the, the most authoritative in-depth study of the SMB channel and its thoughts about the current state of the market and the year ahead. Um, tons of great data uh, in the report this year as every year, and we'll link to that um, from the show notes. I really encourage people to dive in. But I want to call um, attention to just a few data points in particular, and in part because they dovetail with some of what we heard this morning at the CompTIA conference from the, the research folks, Carolyn April and, and Seth Robinson. Um, so, you know, we, we are all very uh, well aware um, that we are still in uncertain economic times. Um, interest rates are high and maybe um, going higher, it's a little harder to say, um, uh, as of this week. Um, you know, inflation remains an issue, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so some of that is reflected in um, what Channel Pro heard from the uh, SMB channel partners that surveyed this year. So last year, 12 months ago, 73% of participants in the study were expecting higher spending on IT and services from their customers. That number is down to 55% this year. So tempered expectations, although still over half are expecting higher spending despite um, all that uh, economic uncertainty. And yet, despite those tempered expectations, 87% of respondents to the survey believe revenue this year will be stable or better um, than in 2023. Um, uh, 52% of them expect uh, a payroll, the number of employees on their payroll to main, uh, remain the same. 43% are expecting to do some more hiring. So Despite some of the economic issues that are affecting SMBs, that are affecting the economy at large uh, in the country uh, right now, by and large, um, MSPs and other IT providers are feeling pretty bullish about the future. And I, I think it would be fair to say, Eric, that's what CompTIA has been seeing in its data as well. Yeah, Rich, I think the data kind of reflects the sentiment. Now, of course, there are things that we cannot control, right? The economic uh, external influences, but some of the uh, needs of MSPs are clearly indicated by the strong desire to continue hiring. As we know, Rich, you know, the tech shortage is a real thing. And, you know, notwithstanding, you know, the layoffs and things like that, that we're seeing, um, MSPs have, have, I think, historically in the last couple of years, you know, had it really tough in hiring new technical workers. And, you know, there was some news here at CompTIA about, you know, new collaboration with ConnectWise that they announced where they're actually, um, you know, uh, creating this new opportunity to train tech workers and make them available for CompTIA members and I think other businesses to hire them. So, you know, uh, in the midst of, you know, some of these uh, economic factors and the hiring and tech shortage, you know, the good news is that there are, there are forces for good, you know, trying to combat that for us. Yeah, and I know uh, Kaseya is working on something in partnership with um, one of the universities in Florida. I'm not, I can't remember precisely which one, but you are seeing some of these vendors and, you know, particularly organizations like CompTIA step up and try to create a pipeline 
to get more folks um, out there available for hiring. And it is great news mm -hmm. in terms of the state of the channel that so many people are continuing to be interested in uh, in hiring more talent. Um, so, you know, the the economy and, and those headwinds we were talking about much um, in the headlines, um, but there's something else much in the headlines these days, Eric, that has to do with your tip of the week. Absolutely, Rich. Wow. This is, and this is, you know, I think, in many of the headlines that we are tracking as technologists and, you know, in the channel and it's, it's AI more specifically chat GPT. So Rich, uh, I think you and I have both recently had an opportunity to, you know, play around with chat GPT. I was very curious, um, you know, what all the fuss was about. Is it really, you know, this game changing technology? Is it a force for good? Is it, you know, can it be used in, 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 you know, you know, ways that aren't as good. And I've got to say, you know, the tip of the week is explore chat GBT for yourself. Uh, and of course, use it for good. Uh, the couple of uh, tests that I did, Rich, was I, I, I asked chat GBT to write me some synopses of several articles online. You know, I'm always posting social media posts, articles of interest, just like, you know, you do on reporting and things like that. And I just wanted a short synopsis that I could then review to see how accurate it was on the article. And by golly, I'm very, very impressed. And this is chat GPT-3. I think imminently we should expect to hear an announcement of the next rev of chat GPT-4, chat GPT which should, you know, make it supposedly even more powerful and intuitive. Now, you know, was it completely accurate 100% of the time? No, not at all. But did it save me from doing a lot of heavy lifting and a lot of research from different um, places to try to collect data and summarize things? Absolutely. So, you know, my guidance says, look, use it for research purposes, gather data, all of the noise and the things that kind of, you know, add time to the tasks that you're, that you're having to execute. And then, you know, give it a thorough review, right? It's kind of like you've collected all this information and you're still going to review it and adapt it and adjust it and put it into your tone. Or, you know, for me, it's more about, you know, bringing news and information to the channel. So I've got to also be very careful about, you know, the sources and things like that. But it did save probably, I'd say 30 to 40% of research time for me when I set it to these tasks. So take a look at it, see if there are ways that you can use it to, you know, um, you know, simplify some of the things that you have to do some repetitive tasks. I mean, I, and I just was just tap, tapping the surface of this. I'm going to continue to explore uh, and and see what else, you know, I can put it to use for. Um, it's it's new technology. It's cutting edge stuff. It's bleeding edge stuff. Uh, proceed with caution. You know, um, the the use of artificial intelligence um, above and beyond chat GPT and robotic process automation, the use of technology to enable MSPs to be more productive, uh, it's a huge, huge thing. I think, you know, we're, we're already seeing a lot of that. I think it's going to be an even bigger topic in 2023 uh, and beyond. I'm going to add something, though, that's been on my mind a little bit the last few weeks and just get your impression of it. I think there is another opportunity around chat GPT. Um, which is the fact that um, th this topic has taken the world by storm. It's not just you who is curious about this and potentially can benefit from it. Your customers are um, thinking about it as well. And so this is an opportunity for you. If, if you have not heard from your clients about ChatGPT already, go ahead and reach out to them. This is a chance for you to position yourself as the thought leader, the technology expert, to kind of help them understand what this chat GPT thing is about, how they might actually go about seeing if it's something that could be helpful to them, and how they can also maybe go about making sure that they don't use it in a way that's risky and that they understand, like, here, here is a great opportunity for you to be proactive about the next big thing in technology and, uh, and you know, uh, uh, get some customer gratitude and some recognition for being the expert and looking out for their best interests. Yeah, that's some great guidance, Rich. And, you know, a, a conversation uh, that I overheard uh, today at the CompTIA CCF event was about who's your next hire going to be as an MSP. And somebody in the crowd said AI. So, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing that at, and we've covered this topic you know, on the program before about bots and AI, 
you know, taking a lot of the repetitive noise away from the tasks, allowing, you know, human labor to focus on only the most important things. And, you know, th we're just getting started with this stuff, I think, you know, like you say, Rich, yeah, look out in 2024 and see where we are, you know, at this point in time then. So speaking of just getting started and look out in 2024 and uh, as well as 2023, this is the point in the show where we would ordinarily bring you something funny and amusing from the news. Um, what we're going to bring you instead is something that's a little bit more bittersweet because after over 200 episodes of the Channel Pro 5-Minute Roundup, um, Eric and I are, are hanging up our uh, our busted five-minute clock. Uh, I don't think we've ever once come in. <laughs> I, it, it, that, that clock never worked anyway, so we're, we're hanging it up. This is, in fact, the last, the final episode of the Channel Pro 5-Minute Roundup, and that, that is my fault mostly. Um, because I, uh, after 16 plus glorious years um, at Channel Pro, most recently as the executive editor, I am actually kind of stepping down to do some new things. Um, I will still be an extended part of the Channel Pro family. You're going to see me doing some, some writing for Channel Pro, some event coverage and so on. But I'm out on my own. Uh, I've got some other ventures going, um, some of which may involve Eric. So this is the final episode of this show. We thank you so much. Those of you, um, we, you know, he and I, Eric and I run into people who enjoy the show on the road all the time. We thank you for watching. We thank you for listening. We thank you for telling your friends about it. Um, uh, last episode of this show, but I'm pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I can say this is not the last time you will see Eric and me side by side on a podcast of some kind. So stay tuned, people. We will be back. Won't be on this show, may not be on channelpronetwork.com. We'll see. We will be back uh, down the road, and uh, we will both see you on the road uh, and, and look forward to, uh, to catching up with you and exploring and discussing all the exciting things that we and you have coming up. Thanks, everybody. It's been great. And this is a part of the program, Rich, when we say... You know what, folks? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah thank you uh, for joining us. Um, you, you will find us, uh, the, all the past episodes, both uh, on uh, YouTube at the Channel Pro Network channel. If, if you're into listening to podcasts, all those episodes are going to be available for you. We're not taking those down. So go to Spotify, Google, Apple, wherever you get your podcast. You're going to find us there under the Channel Pro 5-Minute Roundup. Until we meet again, folks, please enjoy the rest of your week because Eric and I are enjoying the rest of your week already. already.